Your Honors, opposing counsel, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We've all heard the expression, actions speak louder than words. You just got done hearing the plaintiff's words. Along with their name calling, they claim that a ride on the hurricane roller coaster caused severe, intense, painful injuries that forever changed the life of Avery Mansion. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will be called upon to decide what caused the death of Sally. We believe the evidence in this case leads to one inescapable conclusion. Because while the plaintiffs may be able to control the sympathy, they cannot control the evidence. And the evidence simply does not support the plaintiff's case. A prohibited trip a portable grill, a 3 a.m. party, matches and lighter fluid. No grief, no sympathy, only evidence. Thank you. Now, at the time of this fire, Cam Kendall, how old were you? I was 17. Mr. Seller, what is your relationship to Sammy Mallory? Sammy was my best friend. We would do... I mean, we did everything together. From soccer to lacrosse, even student government. We were the best friends. What were you planning to study at Rutgers? I was going to study art. I got into a top 10 program for painting and drawing. Why did you want to become an artist? Well, ever since I was young, art has always been my passion, especially oil and watercolor. It's the one thing I knew I wanted to make a future out of. So, why did you lose your scholarship? About a month after the accident, my hands would randomly go completely numb at times. It was to the point where I couldn't even pick up a paintbrush. I couldn't create art, so Rutgers took away my scholarship. Could you please state your name and occupation for the members of the jury? Good morning. My name is Seymour Bones. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I specialize in injuries located on the spine and spinal cord. Doctor, where are you currently practicing medicine? I am the medical director and chief of the orthopedic department at St. Mary's Medical Center. I am also a full attending surgeon at Metropolitan University Hospital. If you saw someone striking a match in one of these pictures, that could not change your opinion. Counsel, you're asking me to speculate on something that simply doesn't exist. I cannot testify as to any photographs I have not seen. Of course. So, just to be clear, regardless of any evidence that could possibly exist, your opinion would not change. No, I reviewed all the relevant evidence in this case. So, yes. And when, when you met with Ms. Manchin, she complained to you of numbness in the hands, right? That was one of her complaints, yes. Weakness, right? Yes. Loss of strength? As I said before, yes. She told you that she, can, she can't even really handle a toothbrush anymore, right? No, she reported difficulty holding a toothbrush. She never said she couldn't hold a toothbrush. So she had difficulty using a toothbrush, Dr. Bones, right? Yes. Now, Ms. Smith, you would agree with me that the night before you took off on this camping trip, you stayed up until 3 a.m. party. Yes, it was my friend's birthday. I stayed up late, so I decided to go to um, Camp Kindle later that afternoon the next day. You didn't tell the parents about your 3 a.m. partying, did you? No, but I planned the trip to, I planned us to leave later, so I didn't see a reason to. I had enough rest. You trusted your judgment. Well, Yes, I knew I had enough rest. But you didn't allow the parents to decide whether or not they trusted your judgment, correct? Ms. Mallory, you recognize this document, correct? Yes, sir. This is a fair and accurate representation of the permission form and liability waiver that you signed in this case. Yes, sir. I, I signed a waiver, not a death warrant. 